Greetings, fellow Fright Fiends. It's your buddy Boogeyman Ben here for another episode of Boogeyman Ben's Horror Zone. And this is part two of my Jeepers Creepers franchise retrospective. Um, of course, I've already talked about the original uh, Jeepers Creepers film, which came out Labor Day weekend in the year 2001. And now I'm going to be talking about the sequel, Jeepers Creepers 2, which came out Labor Day weekend in the year 2003. So we had a two-year uh, break between the films. Uh, I was really excited when they announced that they were making a sequel to Jeepers Creepers, which was one of my favorite films of 2001 and has become one of my favorite horror films of all time. So I had hoped that the sequel would pick up from the first one and actually feature the survivors from the original film. That didn't happen. Uh, Victor Salva had a different thing in mind when he did the second one. Initially, he had a couple of story ideas that he wanted to do, but he kept, and one of them involved these kids that are trapped on a bus coming back from a basketball game, and they happen to be on the same road where Trish and Derry met up with the Creeper in the first film. Uh, the the original Part of the original story that he was going to focus on was going to be dealing with this task force that was going after the Creeper, and that seems to kind of be something that's going to be happening in the third film. But that story kind of, he, he said he kept getting distracted by the kids on the bus. That's what he wanted to focus on. So he decided to scrap the task force, and he wanted to have the, the, the movie primarily deal with these kids that are uh, stranded and trapped on the bus, and the Creeper is tormenting them. Um, the other story of Jeepers Creepers 2 deals with uh, Jack Taggart, who's played by the amazing Ray Wise. And uh, the way that that is set up is that uh, at the beginning of the film, which is in the last two days of the Creepers 23 year cycle. So it's in the same cycle from the original film, but it's the last two days. But the Creeper takes Taggart's youngest son. And I love that scene. That scene, I think, sets up the movie really, really well because it takes place in a corn pasture and it's just terrifying. For me, that scene in this film uh, is the strongest. I really feel like the opening scene to this film is just, it just really just, again, like the first film, sucks you right into the story. And it's such a, you put yourself, for me, it's like I put myself in the place of the victims. And that scene where the creeper is dragging Taggart's son through the corn pasture is, it's just horrifying and so well done and so creepy. And Again, Ray Wise and Jonathan Breck, um, and I can't recall the young actor who played Taggart's youngest son, but that scene is just fucking brilliantly brutal and emotional. Just really, really well done, and again, sets up this film perfectly. Um, I don't love Jeepers Creepers 2 as much as the first one. I do have a couple of issues with it. Nothing really serious, but I do have a couple things. I just, for me personally, I think the strength of the first film works on the relationship with Trish and Derry, where you have the two characters and they are going through this horrific event where they are being stalked by the Creeper. With Jeepers Creepers 2, um, I just feel like there's a lot of characters in it. You have a bus full of, of guys that are coming back from a basketball game. You have the cheerleaders, you have the bus driver, you have the coaches. It's just a lot and it's hard to warm up to any particular character. There are a few characters in the film that um, I really gravitate towards. Um, particularly Izzy, um, I really think he's a great character in it. Double D is a great character in it. And um, Jonathan Breck, of course, is fantastic in the film as the Creeper again. I think they had him flying a little too much. That was the thing about the first one is like he only flies in like the last scene of the film. Um, and they, where you fully see him with the wings and everything. And this one, they had him flying quite a bit. And there was times where I thought it really worked and times where I thought it was overused. Um, I just really like the, the whole thing about the truck and the fact that he was driving around and things like that. I thought that made it creepier. The fact that he just kept swooping down and things like that. There was a couple times where I just thought it was overused. I missed the truck in this. Um, I am very happy that the truck will be in the third film. But that was something that I thought was sorely missing from this because that truck was like another character in the original film. In this one, it was really missing. And I was really hoping that we would see him you know, just, I love that whole idea of him sort of driving the countryside road, just fucking with people. And I missed that in this movie. That's just my own personal thing. Um, but there are some great scenes in this. I, I love the interaction between Taggart and the, and the creeper when they throw down. I love how he stalks the kids off the bus when they all take off into the fields. There's some really great scenes and some really good tension. Um, I love the special effects. I, I think some of them were overused, but 
at the end of the day, I still think it's a the Creeper is a fantastic movie monster. Um, I think the writing was still really sharp in this film, particularly with Taggart's scenes. Yeah, I think Taggart's uh, drive to to avenge his son um, is the best is the biggest driving force for me, and that's why he's the one character I really get behind in this film. Lee Ray Wise, who just kills it in everything he's in. And like I said, he was the driving force for me in this film. Fantastic actor. He, like I don't think it was as scary. I think it was more action than than the first film. Um, but that doesn't mean it wasn't a great film. And I really love Jeepers Creepers 2. I love the way it ended. It's a fantastic film. I do have the original uh, DVD release of it here. And then of course last year I got the Scream Factory release of it. Um, and uh, yeah, just a great film. Like I said, if I had to give it a rating on my scale, I would give it four skulls. So that is my review of Jeepers Creepers 2. Um, I hope everyone enjoyed uh, watching this video. Um, if you guys have any um, comments about the film, uh, please leave them down below. Would love to hear what everyone has to say about this. Stay tuned for my review of Jeepers Creepers 3, which I will be posting later next week. Of course, it comes out on Tuesday the 26th for a one night only engagement. I did get tickets about a month ago. So excited to see this film. I'm so grateful that I get to see it in the theaters. Um, cannot wait. It's a movie I've been waiting for for 14 years. It's crazy that it's been that long and I can't wait to talk about it. And, uh, I hope everyone looks forward to that. And thanks so much again for watching. Take it easy. Stay scared as always. Peace.